Hello Divi Nation. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to add more columns to your Divi posts or pages. So this is the final result that we're aiming for. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how we managed to achieve this. Okay, so in order for us to achieve this layout, we're going to need two things. We're going to need an image that we're going to use in our blurb and also some CSS code, which we'll link in the description below. Okay, so what we need to do first is to create a new page. So here I've created a page and I've just called it columns. So what you need to do next is to come here and uh, make sure that this is set to full width. The next thing you need to do is to add some a CSS class. So I'm going to click on CSS and we're going to make sure that uh, the CSS class is six columns. And then once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and save and exit. So the next thing we need to do here is to insert a column. So we're going to select a single row and then in that row, we're going to add a blurb. So let's give it a title. I'm just going to call this one. And then the next thing we need to do is to upload an image. So I'm going to click on upload an image. Now I have my image in, uh, loaded here in my media library and the dimensions for that are 300 by 200. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set it as an image. And then we're going to scroll down and um, make sure the text orientation is set to center. And then we're just going to add some text in here. Okay, and then finally, we need to give this an admin label. For So for this, I'm just going to give it a number one. And then I'm going to click on save and exit. So if you recall, our CSS class was six columns. So what we need to do is to make sure that we have six modules. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this five more times. So now that we have all six of them, we can go ahead and save and publish. So in my case, I've already published the page, so I'm just going to click on update. So let's take a quick preview and see what the page looks like. So I'm going to open the page in a new tab. So we can see here it's one on top of the other. So ideally, we need to have them all in one line. OK, so let's go back. And now it's time to enter our CSS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to theme options and then scroll all the way down until I get to custom CSS. So this is where we need to paste our CSS code. So I'm just going to scroll until I get to where the last code was entered. OK, so I'm going to paste my CSS code. So as you can see, the CSS contains different columns. So here we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 columns. So what we need to do is if you decide to use, um, say, for example, seven columns, all you need to do is to change the CSS class. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and change this and save this. And now let's refresh our page and take a look. So now you can see that they're all in one line. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit page. So if you want to say, for example, have a five column, you can always come here, change this to five columns and then make sure that you have five um, items here. And that will change because the CSS will take care of that. OK, so let's do something a bit more fun. So now let's create a layout using a speciality section. So here we're going to choose this one and then we're going to insert a module here. So I'm just going to I'm just going to duplicate here and just drag it into position like that. So what I'm going to do next here is I'm just going to click uh, insert columns. So we're going to use one column and I'm also going to add some module. So I'm going to duplicate this and then just drag it into position like that. And then I'm just going to duplicate this five times. OK, so finally, for the CSS to show these in a column, we need to go into the settings and custom CSS. And then in the class, we need to just name this five columns. Click on save and exit. And now it's time to preview the page. So I'm just going to click on update. And we're going to do a quick preview. Fantastic. So you can see here we have a different type of layout.
So finally, let's take care of mobile. So we want these columns to be easily readable on different types of mobile devices. So in order to do that, we got some more CSS code that you need to enter. So we're gonna go back into the dashboard and we're gonna go back to Divi, Divi options, theme options, scroll all the way down until you get to custom CSS. And then like before, I'm just gonna drag this until I locate where I last entered my code. So I'm just gonna add this code. So this code will take care of the, the mobile situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and save changes. And then we're gonna do another preview of our page. Okay, so this is our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing that, you'll be notified every time we post new videos because we are producing regular videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.